Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook and I help you learn how to shop and eat and cook for a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So today upon a request from several of our viewers, we did a grocery haul from Walmart. So we just did, we didn't even intend to purchase anything from there this morning, but we went to Walmart to see what did they have that we would, you know, be able to buy and um, use. And we were pleasantly surprised actually about how much organic produce they had. Now, if you do not buy organic produce, that's perfectly fine. They have a ton of conventionally grown produce there as well. So you can ask me questions if you wish. Just put those in the um, chat and preface them with three question marks and end with three question marks. And we have Gina with us today. She's one of our moderators. That's why she has a little wrench next to her name. Thanks for hopping on and joining us um, impromptu for this, Gina. We really appreciate it. So um, we usually do grocery store hauls from Whole Foods, Costco, and Trader Joe's. But at the beginning of the year, we asked you all what you wanted to see. And many people said, could you go shopping someplace other than those three places? Because I don't have any of those where I live. And it seems like most people do have a Walmart someplace close to them. And so what a great idea. Thank you all who suggested this. And when I get done showing you what we got at Walmart, I am also going to show you the few things that we picked up at Costco and at Whole Foods as well. So this was a smaller shopping spree for us this week because we were gone for a few days. We were gone over the weekend and um, we you know, didn't need as much things. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I batch prep our salads once a week. I batch prep 14 salads in 30 minutes. And so a lot of what I bought at Walmart is for our salads. So let's get started. So first of all, we were able to get organic arugula there. I was very, very happy about that. And I believe this was $2.98. It's a dollar more for the same size package at Whole Foods. So this was really a good bargain and it looks really good and fresh. And so we were excited about that. That goes in our batch prep salads. I used three of them in the batch prep salads, but I wanted an extra one because if we do a green smoothie, we also like to toss this in with our green smoothies, or sometimes I just like a small arugula salad with some apple cider vinegar and some berries. That's also really tasty. And then they had organic spinach as well. This is also an ingredient in our batch prep salads. And then organic green kale, already chopped for us. Um, looks great, washed and ready to eat. And that was a really nice find. It looks super fresh. They had really good dates. This is good until January 28th. And we will actually finish our last, I'll make salads today, and we'll actually finish our last salads um, by uh, well before that date. And that's one thing that I look at is to make sure that whatever I'm buying is really, really fresh. And then we also got organic broccoli slaw that looked really good. So I was excited about that. We got two bags of that. They had organic shredded carrots. And I have to say, they had a lot more organic produce than the last time that I had gone there just to look to see what Walmart had. And it's only probably a couple miles from our house. So it's really close and convenient. And then we do like tomatoes in our salads and they had organic tomatoes as well. So that was really good. And um, our daughter's been buying quite a few things from Walmart and she does the curbside pickup because then she doesn't have to get her three kids out of car seats to go inside. And that's been working out really well for her. This celery Tom had to have because he's like, oh my gosh, look at how green and fresh that organic celery is. And I like that it still has the celery leaves because these add so much flavor if you're adding celery to a soup or any kind of dish. I like to chop these up as well and use them 
um, because they add so much flavor and celery is just naturally higher in sodium and so if you are trying to reduce your sodium then celery will um, add a little bit of salty flavor naturally to the food you eat. They also had these huge organic English cucumbers. We were so excited to see that. These are terrific dipped in hummus. We also like to slice them and put them on our salads. Now I do not include spring mix in my batch prepped salads because spring mix is notorious for starting to wilt and go bad. You know, they're more delicate greens, but we do like to add it the day that we're having our salad. And so we keep it separate. And so I just buy, buy a large, I believe it's a 16 ounce, yeah, it's a 16 ounce container for that. I'm just gonna check and see if we have any questions here. Hey, Rich is here. Hi, Rich. Uh, let's see. All right, I think we're good. Then I found parsnips. I don't know about you guys, but I love parsnips. They're really tasty. You know, they're a root vegetable and um, they're delicious. Now, how do I fix them? You can boil them, you can steam them, you can oven roast them. So I just peel them and cut them up and then I will probably um, steam these and they're really delicious. They add a nice different kind of flavor to um, any roasted vegetable dish or they're just great to steam and you can put them on a salad. Then they had the organic little um, tri-colored peppers. They did have some bags that were all red if you want a bag of all red, but these are delicious roasted. You can air fry them, but I don't like to get my air fryer dirty and they do release a lot of uh, liquid when you air fry them. So I put them on parchment paper and put them in the oven and roast them 400 to 425. It doesn't take long. Just watch them, pull them out when they start to um, get slightly brown. And then we did pick up some mustard. We do eat condiments that have sodium in them because you know we're not eating like a whole bottle. We're having a teaspoon at a time and some Dijon mustard as well. And then we did buy some paper products that I'm not including, toilet paper and um, paper towels and a few other things, some cleaning supplies that we got while we were there. But I know what you guys are interested in is what did we get for veggies? So for those that are curious, for the groceries, we spent $74.39. And when I calculated what part of this was going into my batch prepped salads, that came to $42.01. Now there were um, two things that I don't have here that go into the salads. One is a red onion, and that's because I had red onions already in my pantry, so I didn't need to buy any today. And the other is a red cabbage. They did not have red cabbage today, but we did ask one of the clerks who was working in the produce department, and she said normally they do have red cabbage, but all they had today was green. And so I could have bought a green cabbage there and I would have been able to, you know, get everything for my salads. But we happen to really like the red cabbage or it's actually purple. Why do they call it red? I don't know. And so we needed to go to Whole Foods anyway and that's where I usually get them. And so I did not buy the green cabbage. I waited and we bought a red one. So if I add um, a dollar for a red onion and $3 for a cabbage because the cabbage we bought was huge and it cost us six dollars so half of it will go into today's batch prep salads so that would be because people are asking how much do your salads cost to make that would be forty five dollars and one cent and we would divide that by 14 because we make 14 salads and then it would come to three dollars and 21 cents per salad and that is for the base salad of course, we add beans and starch and um, some fruit to the salad, so our, our salads might end up costing us around four or five dollars 
um, by the time we embellish them on the day that we eat them. So I thought this was really terrific. I was so excited to see that they had so much. Um, if you eat conventionally grown, they have a ton more things to choose from. There was a lot of stuff there that we could have bought that we didn't just because we didn't need it on today's grocery haul, but we did take pictures and I will actually uh, do up a blog post and put it on nutmegnotebook.com for you and show you all the different things that we saw there. So there was, there was squash, there were sweet potatoes, tons of different um, fruits that you can buy there. Then we did go up and down the aisles as well. They did have some of the um, bean-based gluten-free pastas, uh, quite a variety of those. You can also find chia seeds and flax and different things like that there. Um, date lady, date syrup, and date her date sugar. They were out of the date sugar, but the label was there on, on it. Um, they also did have the organic uh, rolled oats, so you would be able to get those there. They had oat flour. Um, we went into the freezer section. They didn't have a lot of organic frozen vegetables. They did have some organic frozen fruit, which would be great for um, smoothies or just, you know, to make uh, nice cream out of. And they did have a wide variety of frozen vegetables that were conventionally grown as well. So if you have a Walmart, where you live, you definitely can shop there for your whole food plant-based lifestyle. There was um, a lot of organic seasonings in the, um, the spice aisle. So uh, lots of things to choose from there. So um, I think, you know, give it a try. Go to your Walmart and see. We'll have to kind of price compare and see how it compares to uh, Trader Joe's and Costco just for fun as well. So uh, I'm going to pass this stuff off to Tom so that he can load it back up. So we just, when we got home, we decided let's do, um, well actually on the way home we decided let's do a grocery haul since it worked out to go there. And um, the reason we didn't film inside the store is because they have a policy against that because of they want to protect the privacy of their employees and of the customers who shop there and so um and of course we honor that that made good sense to us and so we just took pic pictures it's okay you know if you take pictures while you're in the store as long as you don't um, get any of the customers or the people who work there in those pictures. So now we're gonna show you what we got at Costco. So we left, whole, uh, we left Walmart and we went to our Costco. And I don't know what the hours are for the stores where you live, but our Walmart is open from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. So that is a really large amount of shopping time. So probably no matter what um, work shift you have, you would be able to get into Walmart and buy a few things. So um, we mostly bought food at Costco today, but Rich, who is watching, told me about these really cool gloves at Costco. They are lined with Thinsulate, which is a super thin lining that is really, really warm, but they have the special um, finger touch so that I won't have to take these off when I'm using my cell phone. I will be able to manage my phone. So um, thank you so much, Rich, for telling me about these. I was super happy that our, that our Costco still had some of these. There were actually quite a few ladies shopping um, in that section looking for some warm gloves where they could still be able to use their cell phones. So um, I did share with them that these were probably a good candidate. So um, they have core conduct gloves it is what they're calling them. So, so anyway, super excited to have these. These will keep me warm. Uh, we do like to occasionally do our walk 
and talks, which is Tom and I walk four miles, take you with us, and um, we talk to you while we're walking. So, um, and you can watch the replays of the ones we've already done. So we got a few things there. These are their organic peppers. I love these. I love the tri-colored peppers. And these are organic. They don't always have organic ones at Costco, but today they did. Tom's telling me to move my necklace so it doesn't bump into my mic. And then I like to have berries on my salad every day. They are, they are just packed full of antioxidants, especially the blueberries, but I also do love strawberries. This time of year, the berries have been going bad on me pretty fast. So last week I tried um, a method to prevent that from happening that I had seen online. And there's different versions of it, but the version that I used was three parts of cold water with one part of a white vinegar. And so I did three cups of water and one cup of white vinegar, put it in a bowl, and then I put my berries in there and I let them soak for 15 minutes. And then I gave them just a gentle, light rinse with cold water in a um, colander and then I let, laid them out on a kitchen towel to dry and then I put them in a container lined with a paper towel but you could use a cloth towel if you don't use paper towels and then um, put a lid on it and stored them in the refrigerator and they were good for like six days. They did not go bad. So I did that with my strawberries and my blueberries and I also bought blackberries today question back on red cabbage okay great okay El gina says ellen asked what to do with red cabbage that is left over from salad bread salad prep um i have a really good recipe for making um it's it's cabbage onions and apple in the instant pot so you could pare that down and do a smaller version of that I also will take it and throw it into a stir fry. I'll just chop it up and throw it into a stir fry. I it in dump soup. And Tom puts it in his dump soup. And um, also, it usually will last for a couple of weeks. So the really big cabbage that we got today, I will cut it in half and then uh, wrap it tightly. And the half that I don't use will just go back in the fridge and it should be perfectly fine to use next week in next week's salads. If it starts to turn a little bit of color on the cut edge, I will just trim that off and then it'll be fine. Cabbage has a really long life, um, even in the fridge. So that works good. Um, Gina says, yum, cabbage, onion, and apple sounds delish. It is, it's really, really good. So I also got uh, blackberries today at Costco, as well as raspberries. So I'm gonna give them all the, the vinegar water treatment, and um, I'll let you know how it works on these two berries this week as well. Then we did get bananas. They had um, really good looking bananas today. And before we went out of town this past weekend, uh, we had two hands of bananas that were nice and ripe. So I peeled all of those, put them in freezer bags and tossed them in the freezer because I'll use those to make muffins with or other things. They can go into, you know, like the Vitamix um, pancakes that I make or we'll turn them into nice cream. So either for the Ninja or just to make in the Vitamix. And then mushrooms, we love mushrooms. So we will cook these up. Tom will put them in his dump soup. Um, you know, we'll do various different things with mushrooms. And we already had some mushrooms in stock as well. And then this is something that Costco has not had for quite some time. And this is the organic Honeycrisp applesauce. So um, my grandkids love applesauce. I usually keep a jar of it cold in the fridge for them. And um, they just love to have that. It's a treat at grandma's house. And I also use this in a lot of recipes. And so I was really happy to find that. And then we did buy the Power Greens from Costco as well. And it is baby chard, baby spinach, 
and baby kale. And Tom likes to take and add this to his uh, chopped salad before he chops it. And he just likes to get a little extra greens and I don't make the salads quite big enough for him. And so, um, but I reduced them because they were getting too big for me. And so, and he, he's, he's over here going, they make me big and strong. Um, he's off camera being naughty, you guys. And so, uh, so we do like these. And if I take one of my batch prep salads, sometimes on a really cold day, instead of having it as a cold salad, I will go ahead and toss it in a skillet and I will stir fry it and put it over a grain. And when I do that, I will add some of this, the, um, the power greens. Some places call them super greens, Costco's is power greens. And so it just adds a lot of flavor. And you know, I mean, this looks like a lot, but you could take half of this package and cook it and it would shrink down to almost nothing. And so, um, so it's just a good way to get more of those good greens into a meal. Not that we don't eat enough greens because trust me, we do. So that was it for Costco. Um, oh, except we did buy some beans too. They have canned beans there and um, they're low sodium. And once you open them, if you rinse them, you can reduce the amount of sodium that's in them even more. And so we did buy garbanzo beans and black beans there today as well. And then we went to Whole Foods just to get just a few little things. So I did buy their microgreens. We happen to really like this brand. It seems to hold up better than some of the other brands that they have, but we really like this brand and they're good. And I don't grow my own microgreens, so that is nice that they have those. And then these are from the bulk section. These are just raw sunflower seeds, so they're not, not toasted and no salt. And Tom likes to add these to his chopped salad after he chops it. And then I did get um, the tempeh, was on sale, so I did get three packages of tempeh. I really like tempeh, and I'll just um, bake it. I usually put a little bit of barbecue sauce with it, either Well Your World's SOS Free Barbecue Sauce or Date Ladies uh, Barbecue Sauce, which I just purchased that on Amazon. You can find it in our Amazon store. So if you go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash nutmeg notebook, um, you should find it there. And I'll, I'll cook one and I'll pop the other two in the freezer because they have an expiration date in uh, February. And then I'll show you this giant, very beautiful red cabbage that Tom picked out. So here you go. And about half of this will go into our 14 salads. And so this is a beauty and that'll be good. It adds color and crunch and of course, a lot of nutrients as well. And then this is a sauerkraut. Um, this one's called 24 karat gold. I know that not all Whole Foods have these. It's a regional thing. This is made here in California and it does contain sodium, but anything like um, that's fermented has good uh, probiotics for your gut in it. And so I'll have about a tablespoon or maybe two uh, in my chopped salad every day. And I just love the flavor that it adds, that little bit of tang to it. And um, it's really fun that this one has carrots in it and so I get that at Whole Foods. You probably will have a different brand of some kind of local sauerkraut at your Whole Foods or if you don't have a Whole Foods just look at the stores that you shop at and see what they have available or you could learn how to make it yourself. I do have friends that um, do make their own sauerkraut. We have not dove into that. So um, anyway, let's see. I'm just gonna check, make sure. Uh, Belinda says, do you store your seeds in the refrigerator? We do. Um, that you know keeps them from going rancid. So we like to put our sunflower seeds. We also do pumpkin seeds 
and our salads as well. Whole Foods was out of the raw pumpkin seeds today, but I already had a backup container, so we're okay on that. And hopefully they'll have them back in next year. Amber says, is the cute polka dot freezer bag on the Amazon page? It is not. It's from um, a company, I think it's called 31 something. I was gonna look to see if it had um, a, a name in it. Um, 31, it's a, I, I think they were, they, if they're still in business, it's um, a company that sells kind of like Tupperware does, where you have like a show in your home and invite your friends in for it. And this was a gift from a girlfriend of mine uh, years ago. I love it and I've practically worn it to death. Let's see, anything else? Oh, Rich says, just gonna say, Tom, it must be that you've been lifting and that's why you need all those power greens. <laughs> He's laughing, Rich. Uh, Rich says, going to get that, especially the Honeycrisp apple stuff. Um, been looking at that after looking at some of your recipes. Kathy says, um, I dumped a bit of red cabbage into a stir fry, stir fry last night. Dixie's going to Costco this afternoon and she's going to be buying a lot of these foods. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, G Girl says, did you experience a lot of gas when first starting out eating this way and do you ex still experience this? How long is the adjustment period or is it normal eating this way? You know, I think it's a really individual um, thing. Some people do experience a lot of gas and continue to experience a lot of gas and other people do fine. It just really depends on the individual person and Tom wants to add something. <laughs> Come talk well, no, to us, Tom. I, well, I, I think I turned on my mic. Yes, I did. My mic is on. Okay. So I don't know if I'm on screen. I need to be maybe down here. Here, do you want my chair? Um, I found, you know, here. Th that I found that, um, you can sit down. That I did adjust to beans, you know, because our intake of beans ramped up. And so that kind of normalized in terms of processing gases. Uh, but when it comes to like cauliflower or a cabbage, those are those those remain gassy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they are for everybody, actually, regardless of what other kind of diet you might be on. But I did uh, adapt to um, having beans kind of like my main protein thing, whatever. So anyway, that's my two cents worth. Is that's that, your two cents worth? That I did adapt to beans, uh, I thought noticeably, but not the cabbage, not the cauliflower. So... Okay. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, um, but it, it's different for, I yeah. think it's different for everybody. Yeah. Um, I have set up for Tammy another video about assembling the salads using, uh, uh, in, in, for the most part, products that came from Walmart. Uh, like Tammy said, we were going there to just sculpt the place out to kind of like plan right. a video for next week. It's like, well, look at this. Well, look at that. Well, they have this. Wow, this looks really good. It's so fresh. The date goes out for more than a week. Well, and the arugula looked so much better than the arugula that Trader yeah. Joe's has had lately. Yeah, and we found chopped kale, which we're going to try, and mm -hmm. we're going to be opening that soon in the next video. So we're so, going to we're going to stop this one, and we're going to set up one. to do the salads because yeah. I have to batch prep yeah. those salads. So yeah, and I have that set for twelve thirty, uh, but that's give or take. But I think we'll be ready pretty close to that. We have to kind of reset the stage here. So yeah. we're going to end this video <laughs> and and then reset for because we're going to build our salads and then we're going to eat a couple of them. Yeah. So uh, so we'll see you in a few. Anything else on on this uh, uh, Walmart food haul with add-ons from from uh, Costco and Whole Foods. That sounds so backwards to say it that way. Because usually we hit Costco and Whole Foods and then maybe pick up an add-on at Walmart. But uh, Walmart is the star of the show today. <laughs> well, you, I was also surprised to learn that Walmart is the, is the top grocery store for selling organic produce in the U.S. Yeah. They sell the most organic produce By and time. then costco and then costco is second. second and it's probably because 
there are so many Walmarts. Walmarts everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if every Walmart will have everything that we were able to buy at ours today. Mm -hmm. I know that with Costco's, a lot of what they carry is regional and also um, even within the area that we live at, some of our Costco's here sell more organic than others. So it yeah. just depends on the demographics of the area that the store is located in. But, um, yeah, but the whole then, food, the whole food plant-based pundits will always tell you it's better to eat a vegetable any way that you can buy it. Mm -hmm. Or of course, organic is preferred, but any way you can buy or afford a vegetable is the vegetable to eat. That is better than not eating the vegetable. Exactly. And then, um, about the, um, when you first go plant-based, does it cause a lot of gas? If you haven't been eating a lot of vegetables, especially cruciferous vegetables, and you haven't been eating a lot of beans, you don't have the gut biome that processes those enzymes. Mm -hmm. And so that's um, what adapts. That's what adapts. And so you might need to take it slower and easier and, you know, start, start with a small salad, start with, you know, one half cup serving of beans a day and then you know gradually over the course of weeks you can work on yeah. building it up rich is reminded people chew your food yes one of the favorite things i like about our chopped salads is i i mentioned many times i like them because i get to graze on them i get to take my time and great great you know i'm not dealing with a half hour lunch break that would be a different conversation but i have a one hour lunch break and i just milk that salad for everything it's worth and chew on it and savor every bite so thank you for yeah. that rich yeah that's a really good point so yeah. it does help um aid in better digestion okay. so and hopefully less all right. gas all right so um we will be back and we will do another salad batch prep because the one that i did two weeks ago we couldn't get good arugula and so we did all kale in it but we actually do prefer it was a little chewy yeah, with so much kale, it was super chewy. It took us forever to eat. We do prefer the texture and the flavor with arugula and kale and spinach mixed in there. So I'm going to do another video and show you how that turns out. All right. Okay. I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and, and stay healthy. healthy. One meal at a time. At one. a time. One salad at a time. One grocery haul one, at a time. One grocery... <laughs> One, uh, one, two, three. One, one grocery, grocery haul at, at a time. time. We'll get it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Thank I'm you, Gina, go for thank you, Gina, for joining us and moderating. Rich, Ellen, Elizabeth, G Girl, Dixie. Thanks everybody for joining in and um, helping everybody out. We appreciate it. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.